Hi everyone, welcome to Greeklish Outdoors. Today I'm going to be reviewing another air rifle, so stick around. So this is the Artemis SR1250W Springer Air Rifle. Um, it is, this is the 2.2 variant, the .22 variant, and it is made in China. Obviously I have customised mine a little bit by putting the um, camo tape on the stock and on the barrel, but normally it is just a wood and black metal finish. So let's have a little walk around the gun. So starting at the butt here, we have a nice rubberized pad to absorb the shock that uh, the spring rifles often give you. It is then underneath this, it is actually all wood all the way down here where the uh, barrel starts. You have a plastic trigger and uh, plastic trigger guard on here. So there is a safety. So when that red mark is on, you are unsafe. That's obviously safe. There are adjustable sights for wind and elevation on here. They've also got a nice, you can see this, fiber optic. Same, that matches up with the fiber optic down the end on here, at the end of the barrel. There is a rail on here, so a dove rail here where you can attach, where you could attach a scope or a red dot. So I've had this rifle for a couple of years now. It is very reliable. I've not had a problem with it ever, with it uh, jamming, with a pellet getting lodged in there, with the spring. One thing I can tell you is that to cock it requires quite a bit of force. So that is it there. From here, you would put the pellet in the hole. You then click it back into place. Then the safety is automatically engaged. So you have to click the safety down and then you're ready to fire. So let's see how accurate it is on the target range. So today we're going to use the 0.22 copper uh, Devas by uh, Norica. Uh, these are copper pellets. Uh, these are 21 grains and uh, apparently 20% faster on the range. So let's have a go and see how good I am with the Springer. Safety first. Oh. Target is out at 20 meters. Let's see how close to the center I can get.
Right, so from 20 meters, they're all in, most of them in a group in here, with one outlier at the top. Right, so not bad with just the uh, iron sights from 20 meters. So um, I'd be pretty confident that I could get a rabbit or something from that distance. Of course, if I put a scope on, I could be more accurate. But as I said before, in Greece, um, it's not legally allowed, although um, people have been known to do it. So, what do you think of the, uh, the Artemis 2-2 air rifle? Um, I'm quite happy with it, to be honest, especially for the money. Especially since it only costs 115 euros, I think it was. It's solid, it's reliable, the safety works really well. Yeah, it's a bit of effort to, to cock the spring, but um, most springers are like that. The sights are pretty uh, okay for, uh, for adjusting for elevation and for wind. Um, of course, I've customised mine. Uh, the only thing I would like would be a metal trigger and trigger guard would have been nice, but um, for the price, uh, it's not so bad. And it would have been nice to have some places, some points, two points on here where you could put a rifle sling on. That would have been nice. Possibly something I'll think about in the future of um, drilling into it myself. It's not so expensive for me to be worried about actually fitting something like that. Uh, the rubber pad is comfortable on your shoulder. And overall, yeah, a really good value gun for the money. Uh, air gun for the money. Um, what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for other air rifles, then please let me know. I will consider purchasing if they're not too expensive. And uh, till next time, thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Mm -hmm.